This is the third video of the Makey Makey Monome tutorial. In this video, we're gonna cover the touch screen. For more info, feel free to check out my website, jdubois.com. Let's talk about the materials that you'll need for this part of the tutorial. The first thing you need is a Makey Makey, which can be substituted by an Arduino, and about 20 alligator clips. You'll also need some jumper wires to connect to the Makey Makey pins. Next, you'll need double-sided conductive copper tape, I ordered 6 mm by 30 meter tape. You'll also need non-conductive clear tape. For the touch screen, you need a 22 square inch piece of glass or acrylic and a piece of semi-transparent white paper to diffuse the LED light. Finally, you need to upload the Arduino code to the Makey Makey. And to generate sound, you need the processing code. You can find instructions on my website, jdubois.com. Let's start by talking about the Makey Makey. The creators of the Makey Makey describe it as an invention kit for the 21st century. It's a circuit board, essentially an Arduino, that allows you to turn anything conductive into a keyboard input. To trigger a computer key using this circuit board, you connect one alligator clip to ground and another to a Makey Makey input. When you complete the circuit and make a connection between the two alligator clips, you trigger a key on your computer. Also notice that an LED on the back of the Makey Makey lights up. Your body is conductive, so you can trigger a key by touching the metallic tips of the alligator clips. Or you can use a variety of other conductive objects to complete the circuit. Get creative! We want to build an 8x8 monome that has 64 buttons, but the Makey Makey only has about 20 inputs. The solution is to multiplex the rows and columns. We create 8 rows and 8 columns of copper tape each line connected to its own alligator clip, and by grounding the intersection of a row and a column, we trigger a unique key. There are 64 intersection points that can be triggered using just 16 Makey Makey inputs. First step to make the touch screen is to tape a piece of semi-transparent white paper to the back of a 22 square inch piece of glass. The paper will diffuse the light from the LEDs and fill up the square lattice. We're gonna start laying copper tape on the surface of the glass. It's helpful to have the LEDs turned on so that we can align the tape with the cardboard. We're going to lay the columns first. The next step is very important. Place a piece of clear, non-conductive tape on top of the columns everywhere that they will intersect with rows. This step is important because we only want a row and a column to connect when we touch the surface to trigger a button. Now lay the rows. Ooh la la! This part of the tutorial is purely about aesthetics and ease of triggering buttons, so feel free to experiment with design. I attached a diagonal strip of copper tape to the row and a diagonal strip to the column so that I can easily touch both strips at once with my fingers to turn the button on or off. Once we're done with the copper tape, it's time to attach the alligator clips. Each column and each row is attached to the Makey Makey through an alligator clip. It doesn't matter which alligator clip is attached to which Makey Makey pin, so long as the Arduino code is updated and accurately maps the rows and columns to the appropriate pin. You can connect to the arrow keys, the space of the click on the front of the board, pins D0 through D5, or pins A0 through A5. The corresponding Arduino code pin numbers are listed on these diagrams. That concludes this part of the tutorial. For more information, feel free to check out my website, jdubois.com.